How Treyarch Killed Carpenter. That's right, today we are going to be talking about that one power-up in zombies that most people don't really care about. By the end of this video, I think you'll agree with me in saying that the death of Carpenter is honestly just a little sad. Definitely comment and tell me, do you guys like or not like Carpenter? I bet you never thought you would ever watch a video about a Call of Duty Zombies drop, but you know what? If you're, if you're, if you're here right now, you did it. You, you made it. I'm so proud of you. So we typically know Carpenter as one of our core, like what, five power-ups in zombies, right? Double points, insta-kill, max ammo, nuke, and Carpenter, right? Unless you've been around for a while, you probably wouldn't know that actually wasn't always the case. You see back here on World at War, there was no Carpenter until Doris. So this was the first map that added Carpenter. So that's why we're playing Doris today. So when you get a Carpenter drop, you get 200 points and it rebuilds all of the barriers in the map. It's pretty simple. Pretty basic, nothing too special or crazy going on. Nobody really liked it that much. And you know, that's okay. The, the problem is like just Carpent- Oh, am I gonna die here? It's World at War, I don't know. Every other power-up is just so much more useful than Carpenter. You know, Carpenter isn't bad. It's actually pretty decent if you think about it, but like everything else was just much more useful. So in the community eye, it kind of just, it kind of just fell into the unknown, you know? Let's go ahead and grab a Thompson because why not? Whoa, uh, excuse me, you just walk through the boards. But anyway, yeah, after Darius Carpenter became a staple, it was in every Zombies map in Black Ops 1. So the only real change that happened in Black Ops was that it got affected by double points. So once you, if you had a double points and you picked up a Carpenter, you'd get 400 points. But that was the only change there. The first real change to Carpenter comes in Black Ops 2. You see, Transit does indeed have Carpenter, bless its soul, thank god. It's like the one map where Carpenter is actually probably like really useful. Ooh, MG, that's awesome. But the bonus map that came with Black Ops 2, Nuketown Zombies, does not have Carpenter on it. Which is kind of weird at first, but once you think about it, it makes a lot more sense. There just aren't any barriers on Nuketown Zombies, so there's no reason for Carpenter to be there. It's just a waste of a drop, right? You see, that's not all for Black Ops 2 because Mob of the Dead also does not have Carpenter. Now, Mob of the Dead... Oh, hey, <laughs> there's the Carpenter. Look at that. Now, Mob of the Dead definitely does indeed have windows and barriers, so why doesn't it have Carpenter? I really don't know. I couldn't tell you. You know, it was planned uh, in the game files. There are announcer quotes for Carpenter but there just isn't carpenter in the map it's really really weird and it came back in buried which makes sense again but then it's gone again in origins which kind of makes me wonder did did jason blundell have like a vendetta against carpenter is is jason blundell not a carpenter fan unfortunately that is a question i don't think we'll ever know the answer to but once again origins does have the sound files in the code for a carpenter drop so like it was planned but then it was cut two times kind of just kind of weird that's all and again that's just really weird because mob and origins are two of the biggest maps in black ops 2 you would think a big map would need carpenter right like you don't really need carpenter on nocturne toad but like carpenter on mob of the dead origins yeah you kind of want that now, Black Ops 2 also did have the perma perk that let you rebuild barriers faster. It's not technically part of Carpenter, but I mean, it's similar, so I just thought I'd throw it in here anyway for a second. But then, after Black Ops 2, the next Zombies game that we move on to is Advanced Warfare, and I, I actually don't think Advanced Warfare has Carpenter at all, or any, like, equivalent. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I don't think it even has barriers, to be honest. Now that I think of it, like, I've never rebuilt a barrier in Exozombies, so I don't think it has them. Oh, and I, also, I forgot to mention, but this is really obscure, uh, Black Ops on the DS, Black Ops Zombies on the DS does have Carpenter, but for some reason it's called Reconstruction. I don't know, I guess they just had to be unique or something, they had to be different, you know, they couldn't just be normal, so they had to call it Reconstruction. But, of course, with Black Ops 3 came the arrival of Licensed Contractor, our favorite meme gobblegum whoa okay whoa hoo -hoo. calm down oh hey don't i'm gonna die i'm gonna die i'm dead i'm dead i'm dead <laughs> no. oh man i can't believe i actually just died on like round 10 on world at war that was <laughs> that was tough i have like a collective of over like probably fifteen thousand hours in zombies i still get my ass kicked on world at war sometimes <laughs> 
So yeah, licensed contractor was in every Black Ops 3 map, so I, I guess Jason Blundell stopped hating it, but the only really weird thing of note here is that uh, licensed contractor, not licensed contractor, carpenter, what am I talking about? Carpenter in Black Ops 3 is in Origins, but it's not in Black Ops 2 Origins, which makes you wonder, why did they not put it in Black Ops 2 Origins if they were gonna put it in Black Ops 3 Origins? You know, I really don't know why, but uh, they, they have their reasons, I guess. Who knows, man? Well, anyway, Infinite Warfare does have Carpenter. It's it's normal. I'm not going to talk about it, okay? But World War II, World War II does not have Carpenter, I don't think. Don't quote me on that, but like, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Yo, it's the Carpenter. Look at that. So World War II did not have Carpenter, but it did have a max armor drop instead. I'm wasting all my points on this box, I gotta say. I just, <laughs> I'm going to be so, so broke. But yeah, that, that full armor drop is only on the Tortured Path, and um, I don't know if any of you even know what the Tortured Path is. If you don't, I, I wouldn't blame you. Most people don't, and if they do know what it is, they probably haven't played it. So yeah, that's the only way to get max armor, but that is the first time we ever saw the max armor drop. Anyway, Black Ops 4 though, which we are playing right now. I love Black Ops 4. I'm a Black Ops 4 lover. Anyone who hates Black Ops 4 is a certified op. But anyway, Black Ops 4. So Black Ops 4 did this thing with shields where they made shields a core gameplay mechanic. There is a shield on every map and uh, you are expected. Why am I stuck? Please move. Thank you. You are expected to get that shield when you play for like Easter egg steps or for progressing the map like Blood of the Dead. You can't even get pack a bunch if you don't build a shield, right? So the shield is like a core piece of the map. Oh, the box is here. I didn't notice that. I'm so blind. Oh my god, look how fast this shoots. <laughs> That's so insane. Let's take the AI-94 though. So the change they made with Carpenter in Black Ops 4 was to go ahead and make Carpenter refill the durability of your shield. And without a doubt, I mean, this is the greatest change they ever could have made to Carpenter. We're actually going to go ahead and build the shield right now. So that was just the greatest thing they ever could have done. Anyone who's played Black Ops 4 knows just being able to refill your shield like that is so, so amazing. And what that meant is actually that licensed contractor is a good gobblegum now. In Black Ops 3, Licensed Contractor was pretty much just the free 600 points gobblegum, right? You didn't actually, you didn't pick it up for the actual power up. You just picked it up for like the 600 points that it would give you. But now Licensed Contractor is actually good. Let's just go ahead and spawn one for fun. But like, yeah, you just being able to instantly spawn. Like, first of all, it's a common, so it's really easy to get lots of them. So you can stack up on them and it's really awesome. Sorry, pig, I accidentally killed you. Uh, do you guys kill the pig on five or do you guys let it live? I don't know. I usually kill it. I don't know why I kill the pig. I think it's just like negligence, but uh, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, honestly, just with the way the Black Ops 4 works and everything, like shields are so important to have. It's such a, you, you feel naked without a shield in this game, definitely, because like you're supposed to have one. So I think the change was really good. It made Carpenter kind of feel more on par with the other drops, because obviously Nuke, Insta-Kill, Max Ammo always have been super super just like powerful it's still not quite up there with like max ammo but like it's it's getting close you know like i'm not gonna fault it i like it you know it's in a good spot hi thank you all right let's go ahead and get pack a punch yes sir thank you pack a punch is an 94 look at that dark matter. dark matter is so beautiful in black ops 4 so cold war did still have carpenter but of course as you guys probably know cold war did change up the shield system we went from having a dedicated shield that we could use and stuff to moving to an armor system where you just have all around armor and it mitigates the damage that you take overall until it breaks then you have to get more now predictably as you can probably guess the way that it worked in cold war is that carpenter would refill your armor bars now the thing about this is that the way the armor system works in cold war is just different than black ops 4 so black ops 4 black ops 3 black ops 2 your shield has a health bar right you can see it down there at the bottom so your armor in cold war gets shredded much much faster than the armor shields do and hey there's a carpenter right there that's basically the main difference so you will be going through your shields durability like every two minutes in cold war in black ops 4 you're going to be relying on carpenters to fill up your shield and usually if you're a good player you'll be able to get a carpenter to refill your shield before you have to go buy a new one even if you are a good player in cold war you're really you're not going to be able to make 
one set of armor last all the way to the next carpenter because the drop cycle and stuff you're not going to be getting a carpenter every you know 30 seconds so it, ju it just doesn't work vanguard zombies is where tragedy strikes they replace the carpenter power up with the max armor power up instead now i'm pretty sure the reason that they did this is because they didn't have time to program in barriers and windows so they just didn't have carpenter because just like nuketown you know if there's no barriers why why have carpenter right the zombies in vanguard do come out of windows there just are simply no barriers for you to rebuild and like i said i think that's just a time constraint thing you know i'm sure they would have added it if they could have but they just didn't so max armor was just carpenter but instead of rebuilding barriers it only refilled your armor that's all it did also for some reason uh the icon for max armor was the same as carpenter in vanguard until they patched it out later on they patched it out and they made it look like flak jacket or something and that's still how it is today modern warfare 3 kept full armor with flak jacket well i think it was called so in vanguard is called max armor and then in modern warfare 3 is called full armor they changed it because why i don't know and in black ops 6 i haven't like looked around in the gameplay of black ops 6 but i'm pretty sure I recall seeing the drop somewhere in Black Ops 6. It is max armor. Again, there is no carpenter, unfortunately. I don't know why they're like doing carpenter dirty. Also, here's just some carpenter trivia because I don't have anywhere else to put it. Apparently, if you grab a carpenter when a zombie is going through a window, the zombie will instantly die. Also, a uh, carpenter. So carpenter was added in Duris, but in Black Ops and Black Ops 3, it does show up in the remakes of all the maps that it wasn't in. And then the last random carpenter fact I have for you is that, hold on, hold on, I gotta pause the game to read this one. Carpenter will never spawn until five barriers are broken down, the player has built the shield in BO4, or the player has obtained armor in Cold War. And I know for Vanguard, that's the same max armor, whatever it is, doesn't spawn until you get armor. And in Modern Warfare 3, you spawn with armor, so it can always spawn. But yeah, I just thought that was kind of weird. Like, there are conditions that have to be met for Carpenter to spawn. Anyways, that is going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the history of Carpenter with me. Anyway, yeah, I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will hopefully see you in the next one.